Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixer Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is a project that I'm making with the February Craft Kit from Hobby Base UK. And um, I have come up with this really cute, adorable, sweetie shaped gift box. So it's just, again, I just play around with card and I, I came up with this little design and I was really pleased with how it's turned out. So this is using one of the sheets of 6x6. As I mentioned before, when I had the January kit, I am making sure I'm gonna be using all the papers. It's using the ribbon in the kit and then this champagne embossing powder and this lovely little love sentiment from the stamp set. And then all you do is just undo one of the ends. You could stick one end completely shut if you wanted to and it just comes apart and then it opens up to pop in any treat you want. So you can put little chocolates in there, a little bit of jewellery, all sorts. And you can fit this for any theme. Obviously I've done this as a, a love theme for, for Valentine's, but there's no reason why that can't be a pretty favour for a wedding, um, birthday parties, Christmas, you name it, it will work. So, and then just do the ribbon back up again, but I'm not doing the bow, because you know I can't do them very well. Well, it takes me ages anyway. So let's crack on and make this. So I'm using a, another sheet. So in this month's kit, there are 10 sheets of different patterns, six by six paper. So the next one I'm choosing for this tutorial is this pretty one here with the butterflies and the roses. Um, pop all that to one side. That's the ribbon that you get. You get two meters and it's got this pretty heart. Um, and I'm picking it up very well though. You can just kind of make it out. It's got these hearts running through it. Um, I've got the love um, already stamped on here. That's just the that. stamp set that you get. So there's tons of stamps on this one. I actually didn't count how many you get. One, that's, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm not sure if I've done that again. Yeah, I think it's 15. That would make sense, wouldn't it? I don't think it says on the back there, but yeah. That's a lot of stamps and they're really, really nice. So I've used the Love one here. Um, so that's those. Then I've used, that's the embossing powder, the champagne, that's the Wow. Um, and again, these pots last ages. So it's, again, loads, loads of bits and pieces and great value for money. And then I've got my little Versamark there as well that I need because obviously we're heating embossing. Um, and it's not until you use a new one that you realise how bad your one is. So my, my bigger one that I've got, um, although it still works this is so juicy like it's got loads of obviously um you know the pigment in it there to create the watermark so yeah i think i need to replace although i don't need to replace the bigger one now because i've got that lovely little cube which will keep me going so let's crack on and start making this little sweet shaped box okay, so first so of all you want to score at one and seven eighths of an inch then at two and seven eighths of an inch then at four and three quarters and at five and three quarters. You should be left with a little quarter inch tab here on the right hand side. And then rotate it, and you then want to score again at one and seven eighths of an inch, and then turn it so it goes back to the opposite side. So that's where I just scored that one and seven eighths of an inch. I'm rotating it all the way around, popping it in there, so I get, again, score at one and seven eighths of an inch. It's just that way I know I get exactly one and seven eighths of an inch on each side. And that's basically this piece on each side here. Okay, so that's all the scoring done. Let me just remove the scoreboard. And then I'm just gonna flip it over and you can see those score lines much, much better. So if I just kind of hold it in place there, so you've got your quarter inch tab there at the top, and then you should have a little rectangle, square, rectangle, square, and then again, rectangle, square, rectangle, square, rectangle, square, rectangle, square. And you can see what I've done now is I've put a cross. So with that tab at the top, that quarter inch tab at the top, I've then put a cross on the four outer squares. Okay, just from corner to corner, just a light pencil mark. And that's just to give you a kind of guide to where we need to cut this kind of triangle shape to give that, make it that kind of look like a sweet wrapper. Okay, so we'll do that in a minute. So next, you just want to burnish your score lines. So just go along and just crease all of those. Like so, okay. And then we just need to do some cutting. So I've got my tab here on the right hand side. You want to cut up 
this one and this one just to that first score line okay and then like I always say just take off the very carefully just remove any of the score line that you have any of that lumpy bit just kind of get rid of it it just makes it easier for you to close it and you don't get overhang anything overhanging and because these bits are going inside to kind of close the box I'm just taking a little bit off like a wedge off of each corner there um, each side sorry just like so and go along to the next one and again just cut neatly down there and then remove again a little wedge and then this one just cut down again like so I'm going to cut that out like that and then just remove a little more from there so if I just lay that down you can see now what I've done okay so just taking little wedges out of these tabs here and you've got those nice squares that we've just put the crosses through then we're going to take the whole thing and just do the same again so this time we're starting on this corner so just cut up that first one where you've got that tab and remove that completely and then again just cut down and remove little bits from these ones again okay, so that's what you should now have okay now what we need to do is just cut these into our shapes. Now you're not going to you're not going to follow the pencil marks exactly. What you want to do is let me just do this one first and then you can see how I do it. So I'm starting from the corner here and I'm going to cut down, but I'm going to start to come away from the pencil mark until I meet kind of lined up there with that corner. And again, down here. Because if you go right up to the the very middle you'll end up cutting these off completely it's kind of a bit like a cracker you just want enough like so you just want enough of it just to wrap the ribbon around but if we cut too close we'd end up cutting that off completely so you can see there what I've done so you can see where my pencil mark is and where I've actually cut so that's what you want to do it's hard to really explain in words but again here you can just see I'm cutting up but I'm actually cutting and then you want to fold that kind of under just so you can get your scissors in fold that down just so you can get your scissors in there and again just kind of work your way up until you meet it and you don't need to worry if it's a little bit untidy because it's going to be hidden with ribbon and they don't need to exactly you know match as long as it roughly does and I'd say you want to make sure you get your point on the outside here just so it looks obviously nice and neat like so so again let me go along and do this one here so starting again from the corner and I'm just kind of roughly I'll do this one as well at the same time kind of working my way in there fold all that in again so you can get your scissors in and then I'm just meeting it up and then again on this side make sure you tuck everything down like so otherwise you, you could end up cutting it off with your scissors underneath so just be careful every time you cut so again there's another one I've done okay so I'm just going to repeat that on these two here so that's the shape you should now have so if I flip it over you can see what we've done and then all you need to do is just go over just carefully and rub out those lines That's now all done so all we need to carry on with is just sticking it together and then you're pretty much there it's very very um, relatively quick to do really so just stick down your tape So just remove the back end that just came off straight away fold that one over and then this one should sit perfectly over the top like so okay so you can see it now coming together and then all you need to do is fold these pieces in like so and then as you do that you bring these down and it will keep them all closed like so and there is your sweet wrapper gift box I absolutely love this I just again as I always say I end up talking to myself when I make these things half the time because 
I just think that's really clever how it's all come together. So let's get some ribbon and do our bow. So, um, oh, didn't do that very well. Um, how much am I using here? What's that? Nine inches. So let's just see how this is because I didn't measure it before. So I'm just going to tie a loose little knot. Okay, so there's one. Nine inches is literally just the right amount. It is a little bit fiddly. You may want to go to 10 and then just trim it. Um, but it does work fine. So again, I'll pop that one on in a minute. And then you just want to do your little sentiment. So I have got this piece here, which I've already rubbed with my anti-static um, powder over the top. So all I need to do now is just ink up my stamp with the Versamark and then pop that on there. I'll run it through the um, dye machine afterwards because it will flatten it out that way in case it gets a little bit warped from the heat. And then grab this, I'm gonna grab a little bit of scrap paper there. And then this is that champagne embossing powder. Like I said, these go such a long way. That will last for some time. And then just tip back in any excess and you can see it just coming up there. It's really, it's a lovely color actually when this one melts. Get rid of that. Grab my heat gun. <laughs> That's all melting. If I just bring that up, can you see? It's just a beautiful champagne colour. Like I said, I've not got that colour. Um, so it's a nice addition and I think I'm going to be using that a lot. So love that. And then just going to pop this through. I've just got a um, circle die here which is coming in at two inches. Just pop that over the top. And like I said, this one I'll flatten that card. Quickly run that one through. Like so. Okay, so now we've got a nice little sentiment. And then I'm going to grab, actually I'll use this in a minute. I'm just gonna do this one up, because what I did is just with these little tails here, I used it from the bits I cut off. So I'm gonna tie this one up. Okay, so that's just a bit of the scrap there and I've just put little, um, cut little tails at the either end there. And then what I can do is just kind of fold it like so just so you get that kind of effect. And then that can go on the back. Make sure it's on the bottom, like so, just so it's hanging down a little bit. This is optional, I just thought it was a nice extra touch. And I'll just stick one of my foam tabs over. I might squeeze one more in here actually, just so it's nice and full. Just stick that down in the middle, like so. And there you have it. So that is really, really quick. It didn't take me long at all. And you have these really cute little sweet wrapper style gift boxes. So there you have it. So that is the first project that I made with the February craft kit from Hobby Base. Again, I'll share all those links um, in the description box below. But I hope you like this one. Give it a go. Like I said, you can use it for any um, occasion. It will look great. And um, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed today and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.